They can't stand how attractive your aura is, so they plot on your downfall. <laughs> See, here's the thing. Your aura is so strong. It's so powerful. It's so abundant, right? And it's connected to the source. So it attracts so many great things into your life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And all these different things that happen to flow into your life, you take advantage of, right? You're able to use to, you know, grow your life and, you know, build your life, even through your mistakes, even through the ups and downs. I'm not trying to make it seem like you're perfect, right? Because how could your aura become so strong and become so pure if you didn't have to go through it to get to it? <laughs> As I always say, like, you can't gain strength until it's tested and because God has tested your aura and you had so many different chances to throw in the towel and feed into the negativity that you see so many other people throw in your direction, right? Move backwards, right? Do things your way versus doing things Lord Jesus's way versus doing things the Most High God's way, the Holy Spirit's way, right? Because you've done things the way you're supposed to do it, guess what? It's opened up so many different doors for your aura and it's attracting greatness, right? They can't stand that you're attracting anything, right? And it doesn't just have to be about, you know, people that you're attracting into your life, right? You're attracting your dreams. You're attracting confidence. You're attracting positivity, happiness, right? You're attracting the most I God. That's why you and him are so close. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're attracting, you know, just good things as a whole, right? And it's not attached to people holding it by a string, trying to hold it over your head and say, hey, you know, will you do this for it or will you do that for it or will you be desperate for it or whatever the case may be? <laughs> you have that raw attraction, right? You have that naturally authentic sense of you know being and it spreads and it's contagious because people could feel when something is new they could feel when something is authentic they can feel when something is sent directly from the source <laughs> they can feel when things are you know next level blessed and a lot of people just don't agree with it, right? Even though, like I said at the beginning, it's contagious. Not only is it for you, but you're showing other people how to be true and authentic. And what do you think their aura is going to do? <laughs> don't you think it's going to get stronger? <laughs> of course it is, right? Because you know this and you're smart enough to know this. This is why you spend your time spreading wisdom, spreading positive energy. Even if you don't open your mouth like and spread wisdom and knowledge, that positive energy and that peace and that happiness speaks for itself. <laughs> Hence the meaning of aura, right? Your aura is something that you don't even have to walk in a room and speak on. You're going to attract the things that you need to attract. You're going to detract the things that you need to detract. Hence these haters getting played to the left every time they see you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And everything that God does in your life is going to shine as it should shine. And see, because people can't understand this or fathom this because they don't work hard for anything, they will do everything that they can do to steal it because they're jealous, right? To steal it because they traded in that positive aura, that positive energy that Lord Jesus gave all of us, but they traded in to do witchcraft. They traded it in to stalk and be envious and, you know, want what other people have and, you know what I'm saying, fantasize about what other people are supposed to be blessed with and just all these different, you know, negative intentions that these people have and have done. That's the aura that they get. <laughs> See, your aura is something that speaks for yourself. It speaks for itself. So if you're doing good things in your free time, you're doing, you know, good things behind the scenes, yes, you're going to have a good, strong, powerful aura and God's going to reward you. It's just facts, <laughs> right? But if you're doing negative things behind the scenes, you're always hating. You're always gossiping. You're always trying to do the voodoo, the hoodoo, the Harry Potter, <laughs> Harry Potter vibes. You know what I'm saying? They're trying, to do <laughs> they're trying to do all these different things that have nothing to do with God. They're trying to do all these different things that have nothing to do with success or even having that sense of peace and joy and happiness. But then they wonder why you attract the things that you're supposed to attract. They hate the fact that you're attracting your destiny. You're attracting your dreams. You're attracting that family that God already had aligned for you and waiting behind his back. But these haters chose to throw rocks and do different attempts and witchcraft spells and things like that to block your destiny, block your family, block really anything good. <laughs> and guess what? It's not a pity party because they didn't block nothing. <laughs> so we ain't tripping. Don't get it uh, confused. Like we're over here complaining or nothing. Like it just literally made you stronger, bro. It made you stronger, sis. And you allow God to put that crown on your head. Because as I always say, you're royalty, bro. You're a king. You're royalty, sis. You're a queen. But before you get the royalty, you must be tested, and that's what these haters were for. But, of course, after you get past the testing, 
you're going to be blessed and you're going to attract everything that's inside God's will. And whether they hate it or not, it's not going to change anything. Because you remember, like I remember last season, didn't it seem like things were just getting up on wheels and running away from you? Whether you had good intentions or you were tasting your dreams or you were putting time and energy into your dreams or your destiny, it seemed like no matter what you tried, it still kept running. But guess what? You still kept pushing. You still kept grinding. You still kept staying obedient, even though it seemed like nothing was sticking to you. It seemed like everything that you were doing just didn't seem to work. <laughs> but now it's working now, huh? <laughs> and the jokes that these people are cracking ain't so funny, right? Yeah, that's what happens, right? When you count out the underdog. And now what seemed to be the underdog is extremely powerful. What seemed to be the underdog is attracting so many great things into your life. It has so many different people jealous, right? Not just at the fact that you're attracting things into your life, right? Greatness and, you know what I'm saying? Positivity and businesses, right? And, you know, your calling, your destiny, right? Which is very important because no matter how many businesses you have or what you have going on, everybody wants to know what they're truly meant here to do, right? What they're truly sent here to do. <laughs> and this is facts, right? This is a question that eats away at a lot of people's stomach or eats away at a lot of people's mind in a positive way because that's what you should be thinking. And God has blessed you with this knowledge because he sees he wants to bless people with knowledge and a destiny and a clean aura that are deserving of it. <laughs> he doesn't want to bless somebody with a clean aura so they can take advantage of others and, you know, use that sense of attraction, which is a very powerful gift and ability to attract all the wrong things in all the wrong places. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's what these people really wanted to do. They wanted to attract things for selfish gain. They wanted to attract things for, you know, evil gain, for a sense of pride and ego and, you know, a sense of evil power, right? Negative power, not power that's pointed up toward Jesus to where he could get the glory. They want to use that aura and attraction to attract lust and, you know, attract, you know, wealth that has nothing to do with helping others, right? Attract greed and just attract all these different things that they always fantasized about having without doing the work. <laughs> Key word, without doing the work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These people want all the handouts and different abilities and things like that, but they didn't have to go through what you had to go through to earn what you have and what you're experiencing now. <laughs> and on top of that, they're not just tripping about, like I said, the things that you're attracting, but the people that you're attracting, <clears throat> because you're attracting extremely valuable women, bro. You're attracting extremely valuable men, sis. And this is just facts. <laughs> and the thing is, you're so authentic. You're not really worried about it. You're humble. You're gifted. You're blessed. But your eyes are on Lord Jesus where they're supposed to be. <laughs> and this makes you even more attractive, not just aura wise, but all around the board, right? Because people could feel you are who you say you are because you're not saying anything. You're just being yourself and it is plain as day. <laughs> you feel me? Because this is so obvious, it's attracting people that like authentic things, people that like realness, right? People that like not being taken advantage of and lied to, people that like real leaders, right? Real men and women of God that don't have time to play games, not in the sense like we don't have a sense of humor, right? Not in the sense like we don't have fun, but play games as far as misleading people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Play games as far as you know, being shady and gossiping and, you know, talking down and mocking God and, you know, mocking the destiny that God has for others and even sometimes ourselves, right? These people are doing these type of things. You're not. <laughs> you feel me? Which is why God is elevating you and blessing you with that dream family, right? He's blessing you with that dream business. He's blessing you with those friends that are actually genuine and authentic and they're vibrating at the same rate as you. <laughs> they don't have time to hate. They don't have time to gossip, be negative, or do any of these things. And see, because you're attracting everything that you want, everyone that you want, right? And you're able to pick and choose based off what Lord Jesus has put in before you because you worked for it <laughs> and you weren't tripping where things were looking the opposite because you don't depend on anything of this world. <laughs> so this is why he's rewarding you in such a supernatural way because you didn't put your treasures on this world. You put them in heaven. So he's like, okay, I'm going to bless you with the treasures. <laughs> I'm going to bless you with, like he did uh, Solomon, he blessed him with wisdom, but he said, because you asked for wisdom, I'll give you everything else on top of it. <laughs> And this is what he's done with you. <laughs> you feel me? And because he's done these things and opened up your life in such a mighty way, in such a miraculous way, these people are trying to mimic you. They're trying to steal everything that you have. They're trying to talk down on everything that you have to no avail. See, to attract what you have, they have tried to dress like you. 
but they don't understand. They dress like you and they still look like a clown. <laughs> you feel me? They try to walk like you, right? Talk like you because they want the women you attract. They want the destiny that you attract. But as long as they're trying to do it like you, they're going to fail. <laughs> you feel me? They're never going to be successful. You feel me? They're always going to be backwards in life trying to be like you and they're always going to hit hit with the truth and get hit with just the realness of the situation which is you can't be mimicked <laughs> you can't be mocked how they be trying to clown you you can't be downplayed you're a one of one you can't be copied in any type of way if they truly just sought out who they were they would be just as swaggy as you but they don't do that <laughs> you know what i'm saying they choose to try to be like somebody else they choose to try to walk like somebody else and because they feel like you attract so much, they take the little things that they have and feel like it's going to amplify them the way that you're amplified. But the thing is, you're not amplified by things. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're amplified by Lord Jesus. So a lot of these people have money and they think that's your cherry on top. But they walk around with money and people still look at them like a clown. They're still not attracting the things, the people and the destiny that they want to have. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They try to, like I said, dress like you, walk like you, talk like you. But yet they're still not attracting the blessings that they want to have because you actually have to be genuine to do so. <laughs> and every time they do this, they don't understand trying to be like you and have your aura in abundance. They're decreasing their own because you got yours by being you. And that's what God rewards. That's what God blesses. That's what God, you know, sets in a powerful position because you've done this. He's going to continue to give you more power starting with your aura because our aura is internal and it spreads out like light. <laughs> That's why they see that light in your eyes. They see that light in your life. They can almost see your aura. You know what I'm saying? Some of you have a real deal glow <laughs> and it's not going to stop. You're not going to move backwards. If you know this to be the case, don't you be afraid to hop down in that comment section and say, Lord Jesus is the source of my power and my authentic aura. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Make sure you have done there, like this thing up. Make sure you have done there, share this thing up. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button to keep in the loop every time we drop. I'll catch you guys in the next one.